All right, so before we start the video, I just want to let you know that I, we, I do have a store. It is actually some pretty cool designs. Right now, just the only thing that came in for what I've ordered is the mask. I got a hat coming, I got a shirt coming, I have sweaters, mugs, stickers, a great assortment of stuff. So check it out. Uh, I put the link in the description below. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy. We are gonna do is we're we are gonna do a versus video between the cobalt quarter inch hex impact driver versus the Makita quarter x uh, quarter inch hex impact driver. Uh, Makita is gonna use a four amp hour battery, and the cobalt is gonna use a four amp hour ultimate output battery. So I've been wanting to do this one for a while. Uh, I just got this one. Did not make a video of it yet, so this is the first video for the Makita, and this is gonna be a good one. So. Cobalt came out with the XTR line. I do not have impact driver for the Cobalt yet when it comes to the XTR, but I do have the hammer drill and uh, special battery. So we, th this is going to be a good one. I'm curious what the results are, but only time will tell when it comes to the video. And I do not know what the results are till after I edit the video. So this is going to be a good one. Now both batteries are full. Cobalt is full. And uh, Makita is full. We're going to be using Hilti bits for this, so let's see if these are uh, if these collets are pushing. Yes, the the Makita is a pushing collet, and the Cobalt is not. You still need to adjust the collet to get it in. All right, for the Cobalt, this is model number KID three two four B zero three. It is three speed settings with a finish uh, setting. So you push the finish, so it'll be like a precision. You can adjust that, you can have that on all three uh, speeds. But we're gonna have that off during this. Now, like I said, there are three speed settings. Uh, the RPMs for speed one is 850. RPMs on speed two is 2000. Speed three, 2700. And this does not say what the beats per minute is. I'll put that in right now. Brushless motor, of course. So that is the Cobalt. For the Makita, now I have not even used this one yet. This is model number XTD16. Uh, there is a whole bunch of settings on here, uh, but I'm just gonna use the max. The beats per minute is 3,800. The max RPMs, this is on speed uh, four, is 3600. So let's do a quick comparison. So I like the I like the way that uh, Makita looks. Now when it comes to design, Makita is my favorite. Makita looks the coolest. This rubber ring right here is a glow in the dark. It does. This has two LED lights on the side. Now I do not know. There is a button right here. That I do not know what it's for. It just flashes the lights. I guess you could signal for help, I guess, like Morse code. I do not know. I do not know. But you, the, uh, the Makita actually has a ton of settings. It has four speed settings. You actually could have the lights on or off. Turn the lights back on, then it'll dim out uh, as soon as the time passes. Then this has uh, T settings, one and two, uh, precision screw, and uh, screw in reverse. So as you can see, Makita does not make a special battery whatsoever. Uh, this Makita, I believe the Cobalt needs a special battery, which is why we're going to use it. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's uh, let's get to it. So we are going to use the Cobalt first. Like I said, the battery is full. It's on speed three. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one for 
Makita, it is on speed two. Uh, sorry, it's on speed four. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one more for Cobalt. All right, so ready, go. And last one for Makita. And I'm sorry, the battery is full on the Makita. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take two out at once. I'm going to uh, stop the timer as soon as I take one out. And as soon as I take the second one out, the timer is going to start again. All right, so ready, go. I right, take two out for Makita. All right, so ready, go. Time. When it comes to the impacts and the winding of the motor, the Makita is quieter than the Cobalt is. It is quieter. All righty, so we're going to need... The 5 sixteenths, I think this is. We're going to do one specs. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Makita's turn. All right, so ready. Go. My bad on that. I take uh, the specs out for Cobalt. All right, so we're ready, go. Time. All right, so ready, go. All right, we're, we are in this video, we're going to do two tests when it comes to the four inch lags. We're going to do one that is already pre drilled. I'm going to use one of the timber locks that we just did. And then one is going to go flat out through the, uh, the wood without, uh, without any pre drill. So let's see, let's see if one of the one or the other can dominate if it has a little bit of ass assistance. So we are still using the Husky half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter with Tech Life impact rated sockets. Speed three. Battery is still full. So ready, go. I messed up on that. All right, I gotta take that one out. Let's take that out a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. Perfect. All right, it is time for Makita to do its pre-drilled hole for the four inch lag. It is on speed four. Ready, go. Let's start the timer again. Time. My bad on that. I'll properly uh, re uh, start and stop the time. All right, so we're going to take the, them out. All right, so ready, go.
I'm not gonna lie, so far it's a little hard to tell which one is the dominant one. It's a little hard to tell at this point. Like the, the results, when you go down to the hundredth of a second, that's when you know, but uh, I'm having a little tough time. There, this isn't like a, oh, the, uh, the Makita got blown away or the Cobalt got blown away. So it's a little, it's a little, cl it's close, uh, this test. All right, so ready, go. All right, now we are gonna do one more that is not pre-drilled. Like I said, that's in case if it needs assistance. This, and we are, we are gonna use six inch lags. Let's see which one is which. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do a quick temperature reading. 102, 101. Ooh, I saw 118. 106, 106. I saw 118 somewhere that chillax for a few minutes, for a minute or so. All right, so six, six inch lag for the Makita and the battery is still full. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. All right, I will say this, the Makita, the Anvil skipped a lot less than the Cobalt did. The Cobalt was, the Anvil was skipping like crazy, but the Anvil in the Makita was not. Yeah, I can tell that uh, there wasn't much vibration when it comes to the Anvil missing its impacts. And so, yeah, so this run, the, uh, the Makita did run smoother than the Cobalt did when it comes to the stress under the motor. Sorry, I gotta do this fast. 106, 106, the same. They're running the same temperature. All right, so ready, go. Skip it, skip it. Time. All right, one more. There we go, all right, so ready, go. Time, all right. So what I could tell you based off of this test, the Makita ran a lot smoother than the Cobalt did. Now when it comes to time, I do not know, like I said, I find that out uh, during the edit of the video, uh, but there is a huge price difference. The Makita is $177 for tool only for this uh, impact driver, which is XDT16. And you can get this in a, uh, for $100 in a kit with uh, a battery and a charger. Uh, the Cobalt is uh, 324B-03. And so yeah, both had four both had four amp hour batteries, and the cobalt had the ultimate output battery. So the the results might have been different if I used the regular battery for the cobalt. But I think to give the cobalt a fair shot against Paquita, I use the ultimate output battery. So those batteries really help. Batteries with 21700 cells in it truly help the tool deliver more power to the chuck or collet, which is awesome. 
endless tool videos coming up. I haven't even filmed half of what I wanted to with the tools that I have. So many tools coming up uh, that are on sale. So many videos coming up with the tools I already have. That's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.